Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Caribbean leaders are sounding an alarm this evening for the United States to control the flow of illegal weapons into the region. It comes as countries bemoan the increasingly high levels of violence in the Caribbean, especially due to guns coming from the U.S. Now, the declaration was made on day one of a two-day crime symposium in Trinidad today. Kelisha Williams tells us more. Leaders from the Caribbean Community and Common Market, CARCOM, gathered in Trinidad on Monday to discuss one of the most pressing issues in the region, crime. And while the leaders argued that improving their national crime-fighting strategies is important, an appeal for the United States to do more in stemming the flow of illegal weapons to the region. First, from the Prime Minister of the Bahamas, Philip Davis. So you've heard evidence of one Bahamian American who would have bought 46 weapons within the, that would have been in a period of less than two months. We discovered that they had nine of them were used in the Bahamas. We made that known to the U.S. But what has happened to that person? Nothing. While Mr. Davis indicated that he will not get involved in Americans' constitutional right to bear arms, he said it cannot mean that residents in the states also get a right to traffic those arms. And, and that has been the theme that I've been impressing upon them. Now, in recent times, they've passed an act that speaks to um, the, the straw purchases, etc. But I don't think they've gone far enough in that regard. It was also revealed that states like Texas, Florida, Georgia, and others with a strong Caribbean diaspora are the ones trafficking most of the guns to the region. Prime Minister Andrew Holness stressed the importance of CARICOM leaders joining forces to pressure the United States to address gun trafficking. As we have assisted them in the war on drugs, they must assist us in the war on guns. It is the greatest unfairness that we have diverted resources from other areas in which we could have spent it to fund and support a war on drugs. By the way, the two things are related. Mr. Holness said it appears the United States has no real interest in stopping the other part of the guns for drugs trade in the Caribbean. The guns fuel crime. They are an accelerant. They are needed to protect drugs that are transshipped through our borders. They are then turned to deal with other forms of criminal activities. We have seen in Jamaica where uh, the weapon of choice is no longer the AK-47. It is the AR-15, it is the, the Glock. These are guns that are manufactured in North America. The symposium dubbed violence as a public health issue, the crime challenge is expected to end tomorrow. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.